Hi guys, so today we've got a little wireless keyboard, I guess you might say, keyboard and mouse thing. It's a 2.4 gigahertz radio wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Um, I've been pretty hesitant to buy these in the past because I thought they look a little bit difficult to use. If you've got fat fingers, you're not gonna do very well. But I did pick one up and it was only about seven pounds delivered, I think. So I thought, why not? I'll give it a go. I'll spend all of my uh, AdSense money on picking one up. So let's just get it out of the box. It came, it's, this is the box it came in. Uh, it's pretty nice, came in a, a big padded envelope. I've gotten rid of that now, but uh, this is what it came in. So that is the device that we're looking at. It's covered in cellophane at the moment. We'll sort that out in a second. Anything else in there? Nothing else in there. So we've got a USB cable. It's also got a female cable there. Let's have a quick look at what that is. A female connector on there, rather. So we've got a... I don't know what that would be for. We'll have a look at the instructions and see if it mentions it. But So you can use this wireless or plugged in. I don't know why that... Is that perhaps for power, for another peripheral? I'm not sure. We'll put that to the side for a moment. Uh, in here we've got, it says it's from Re. Thanks for purchasing. Okay, you're welcome. And then we have some instructions. Now, um, mostly I think this talks about uh, the special keys. So you've got function keys. Let's take this thing out, actually. So this is it. Uh, it's quite nice, the buttons feel okay to press. There's a there's a bit of feedback and we've got a mouse pad up here, we've got some direction buttons, some media keys up here as well, uh, left click and right click and some function keys that uh, increase the sensitivity of the touch panel. Uh, we've got RF on and off so that I guess that's if you've you've plugged it in via USB. Now it also has a microphone hole here and I haven't been able to test that yet but it possibly has a mic in there. Um, we've got mute keys, email keys, a, a, a media player key. It looks like you can try and power off a device using that. Now this works with um, sort of a USB HID signature. So it, most operating systems will pick up some portion of the functions this can use and others won't be able to pick them all up. So the power button, for example, might not work on a Linux machine or a Mac but it may work on a Windows machine. We've also got Control Alt Delete. Again, that's going to be a Windows sort of only uh, function that you'd want. So you'd press Function Control Alt Delete. Now, how does this work? Well, in the back here, if I can get it open, it's got this soft touch sort of um, rubber on here, which I really like, but it doesn't age well. So it will start cracking off after a couple of years. Uh, in the back, we've got a, a battery, a 3.7 volt, 810 milliamp hour battery, and that's recharged in the device when you plug it in via the USB, which is just there. And we've got our on off switch there too. So what we're interested in here is the little USB RF uh, transmitter receiver. I assume it's a transmitter receiver, but it may just be a receiver. So it receives what's coming out of this. Uh, why would it be a transmitter receiver? No, it may just be a receiver. So uh, you would plug that into your device, whatever it might be, and then you should be able to control it. Now, if you have an on-the-go USB phone, you may be able to plug that in and control your phone with it. However, we're gonna be using it with a Raspberry Pi. Now, this is a fresh installation of Raspbian. Uh, this is Raspberry and Jesse, I think. Uh, and I've done nothing with it. I haven't plugged in a keyboard or mouse yet. This is just how it boots up. And we're gonna plug this into one of the USB ports and we'll see if it picks it up. So if I just turn this on. And it looks like we've got some action already. So the reason I picked this up was because I thought I'm doing a lot with Raspberry Pi at the moment and with the Orange Pi PC. And I'm gonna be doing a little bit more in the future. And I wanted a way of quickly accessing the, the UI, really, just being able to, without having to plug in a mouse and a keyboard, I can just use this. So this little device, if I press the space bar after the function, I can alter how quickly the mouse moves on the screen. 
Let's move it over here so you can see it a little bit more. So it's not very sensitive at that point. So it's not very sensitive at that point. If I press again, it becomes a little bit more sensitive. And then one more time, we'll just go back to the other sensitivity. Now on the keypad itself, it does say that it has three degrees of sensitivity. It doesn't appear to, but the mouse pad works perfectly fine if you're gonna be patient enough to move around like this. If you've ever used uh, an old laptop, you'll be very familiar with having to track back. Now the keyboard works just fine. So the mouse actually, you can just uh, tap rather than using the left and right mouse keys. So let's bring up uh, Python. So let's see if we can just type some things in there. It just, it can be complete nonsense. So, so I can write, David is cool. And that's actually a programming statement. Uh, so if we come in a little bit closer here, And I'm going to just try a little bit of speed typing. Oops. Spelling mistakes abound. There we go. So I've written, hello there, YouTube, how the devil are you? Except I've made a spelling mistake, but that's okay, because we have arrow keys here on the device, and we can just add things in. I think it's really great. I'm really impressed with this. It's got a rechargeable battery. You can just plug it in via USB. So let's do that now, so you can have a look. So we'll plug in the micro USB, and we'll plug that into a port on the Raspberry Pi. Other way around. Thank God for USB-C is coming at some point where we won't have to worry about these. There we go. So you can see on the device now we've got blue because it's connected and we've also got um, the uh, little power light to show that it's charging. Now let's see if we can figure out whether this works as a USB HID device without the RF. So if I just unplug the RF, and we'll see if it still works. So I think it's really nice, and for such a cheap price, I think they're really worth picking up. Now, great advantage of these, you could have this instead of a remote control for your Raspberry Pi that's a media center for your TV, or if you have Retro Pi, you might wanna use this as a, a cheap way of interacting as a controller. It's got your left and right there, uh, and you can just sign buttons to other things. So, and obviously you've got the, the mouse control. So really great if you're gonna use it for a media center in, of some kind. But as I said, I'm gonna be using this so that I can control Raspberry Pis in development stages. So if I quickly need to go in there and change some code uh, and I've got a display attached, then I can do that. Anyway, because I picked this up, I thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, hope you're all well.